Hi, in this video you will learn how to create a ROS2 publisher and subscriber in C++. We'll also step by step explain the code involved in it. So first make a folder. So we'll give it a name uh, ROS2 underscore WS. You can give it any name and inside it make a folder named src then open terminator I will split the screen into some parts next navigate to the src folder and now we will create a new package so the command to create a new package is ROS2 pkg then create and then we will specify the build type uh, we will specify the build type as mnc make so it will be a cmake package and then we have to specify the package name so we will give it name cpp topic after this a new package is created uh, you can even check in the src folder now uh, we will create a file inside the src folder here you can check that inside the src uh, there's no file here so just open the text editor and we'll save this empty file in our cpp topic src folder and we'll give it a name cpp underscore pub underscore spiral dot cpp similarly we'll create a subscriber file we'll just copy it and we'll change its name to cpp sub spiral dot cpp and save it now go to github so just search github and here search ros2 basics then select this link ROS tutorial ROS2 basics and here uh, select cpp topic then src and open the cpp pub spiral.py uh, firstly we'll understand this code so this hash include chrono this chrono library is a flexible connection of types that tracks time with varying degree of precision and we will be using it to publish the data at certain frequency then we have this memory header file this header is a part of dynamic memory management library then we have this rcl cpp which provides the standard c++ api for interacting with ros2 then we have this uh, header file because we will be using topic of type geometry message message twist then we have this namespace then we have the class name minimum publisher which will inherit from this class rclcpp node we could have made this publisher and subscriber without using the class but it's better to use class so that you can inherit it that's why you will find the use of class in most of the ROS2 package then we have the public constructor and will uh, which will name the node as cpp pub spiral node then we have the publisher which will create a publisher of type uh, geometry message message twist and the name of the topic is turtle one cmd well then the timer is initialized which causes the publish message function to be executed twice a second here you can find 500 millisecond twice a second 
so it's calling this publish message function uh where we feed the message data so here you can find we feed the message data and then we publish it this line will publish it here the rcl cpp info uh also we are incrementing the angular uh, z value every time and this rcl cpp info and shows that every published message is printed on the console also the auto will automatically find the data type so we don't need to specify the type then in int main this rcl cpp init initializes ros2 this rcl cpp spin starts processing data from the node including callbacks from the timer so now just copy this code and paste it in the the cpp pub spiral file so just paste it here just close it next go to the subscriber code so cpp sub spiral dot cpp and here you can find that most of the code is same uh even it's simpler here like uh, we create a subscriber of type geometry message here in the, here we just uh, publish the message which we received so this one is very simp simpler than the publisher just copy this and paste it in the subscriber file we we'll just save it next open package.xml here we need to add dependencies so keep it always on top and in the github link go to the cpp topic then the package.xml so we we'll just copy these two lines it means the packages are dependent on these package rcl cpp and geometry message so our package is dependent on rcl cpp and geometry message because we are using topic of geometry message type so just save it and close it next open cmake list.txt and keep it always on top now open cmake list.txt in this github file and we need to add these two lines find package so while building it means our uh our the cpp topic package will be dependent on these two packages so it will find these packages next we need to add these lines so it will set the dependency to the above specified top uh, package then here we create the executable so we create the publish executable and this the location of that executable the cpp file this is the name and then the dependencies so the dependencies on the package here like it's depend it depends on this geometry message rcl py then we have uh, the install then we have this install target so ros2 can run and find our executable so that's why we need to add this line so we we'll just copy these lines and paste it after 
paste it here and just save it close it now we have to build our package so navigate to the ros2 workspace directory and just type call con build so our package is successfully built and now we need to source our uh, package source our workspace so just navigate to the ros2 workspace directory and type source then install setup.bash do the same thing in this terminal so just type cd Uh, move to this ROS2 workspace directory, then type source, install, setup dot bash. Now we can run our executable. So just type ROS2, run, then the package name, which is cpp topic, and then the executable name cpp, then pub spiral. and just press enter and here you can observe that now it's uh, it has started publishing the messages the angular velocity is continuously increasing and similarly we'll run the subscriber executable so we just type ros2 run cpp topic then cpp subspiral and here you can observe that this subscriber is subscribing the same topic Also, since we are publishing on the uh, Turtle One CMD well, so our Turtle Sim also subscribe this topic. So when we uh, start publishing it, our Turtle moves, and our Turtle is moving in a spiral because we are continuously increasing the angular velocity. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like this video and learn something new. If you like this video, please give us like and subscribe to our channel. and keep learning